Here we have a chapter six supplementary, supplementary um, topic. It says simplifying a product of radical expressions, multivariate and fractional expressions. So essentially what we wanna do is we wanna multiply everything together, reduce what's inside the square root first, and then see what will come out of the square root, okay? That's the best way to attack this. So the first thing I wanna do is instead of doing the square root of the top and the square root of the bottom, I'm just gonna do the square root of the entire fraction, which we are allowed to do as long as everything is a whole number, I mean, not a whole number, a real number. And then we also have another rule that says if we have the square root of one thing times the square root of the other thing, we can just multiply those together. And then here, I'm gonna put the nine in the front because we always like to have the nine in the front. And then what we'll do is we'll simplify what's inside here. So nine divided by, or 81 divided by nine will give me nine on the top. W to the 10 divided by W to the eight will give me W squared. X to the fourth and X to the fifth, I will still have an X over downstairs. And y to the fourth and y to the four will completely cancel out. Now this is all that I'm left with. So, um, let's see then. So we're gonna separate that and do the square root of nine w squared and then the square root of x. Now, this is a single x all by itself. So there's not enough to come out, right? One divided by two is zero on the outside but one still left over on the inside here this can be written as three squared and then of course the w squared stays the same and then the square root of three squared is just three square root of w squared is just w but you still have that square root of x in the denominator and for right now we're gonna leave it like this because we have not learned how to divide or rationalize um, square root fractions. So right now, you can leave that as an acceptable answer, but this is not a formal answer, okay? It's just right now with what we've learned so far, you don't know what else to do after this, okay? So this will be accepted by Alex. So here, same thing, we're going to rewrite that second fraction as one giant fraction. So we have 27 w to the sixth over w to the fourth x to the third um, z to the ninth. And then we're gonna multiply the two things together. So I get 27 w comes first, then x and then z in the alphabet. In the bottom, I'm gonna have the number three then the w's, then the x's, and then the z's. And then if we simplify this, 27 divided by three is nine. w to the six divided by w to the four is w2. x to the fifth divided by x cubed is gonna be x squared. And z to the ninth divided by z to the ninth cancel each other out, so I'm just left with this. If there's nothing in the denominator, there's always an invisible one. Same for the numerator. If everything cancels in the numerator, there's always an invisible one still left. But we know that when we have something over a one, we don't really need to write that as a fraction. And so in here, I'm gonna actually, instead of writing nine, I'm gonna write three times three, which is three squared. So the square root of three squared is three, the square root of w squared is w, and the square root of x squared is x. And so in this case, everything came out of the square root and that might happen, so that's totally okay. That is our answer.